Hi Aries, welcome to your tarot forecast for the month of December. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Okay, Aries, we're going to look at whatever situation comes out for you. It could be love, it could be general, it could be anything. I'm going to take it as it comes out. We'll look at your situation, whatever it may be. Your energy, how you're feeling, your actual situation, um, advice for you, possible outcome, all clarified with tarot. We'll put some oracles on it. So if you click down the title, then there's probably something in here for you. So please only uh, take what resonates, throw away the rest, including science mentioned. Um, I could pick up on past, present, or future energies, or even maybe someone around you is going through something and maybe you're being affected by it. So please keep that in mind also. And this reading is for now until whenever you see it. Um, and I do consider all my readings timeless, so you can go back, watch past readings, playlists are below in the description box. Okay, Aries, let's see what's going on for Aries. I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy November. Okay, Aries, Aries, Aries. So we get a sign, element, planet. We'll see what comes out if you don't resonate with this part. Totally fine. So let's see what we have for Aries. Spirit, please, thank you so much. What do we have for Aries at this time? That was a bit clump that fell, but that one stuck in my hand. Gemini. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. It could be a friend, family member, coworker, significant other. It could be anybody. Or you could have Gemini in your chart. Know somebody that has Gemini in their chart. So... Okay, so let's get let's get, a, get an opening message for you. My tongue wants to talk faster than I can speak. <laughs> okay, so Aries, Aries, Aries. Let's get an opening message for Aries. One more shuffle. Opening message for Aries. Spirit, please. What is the opening message for Aries at this time? Thank you so much. What is the opening message for Aries at this time? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> ah, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Holy crap, Aries. So it's time to take action about something. You're coming out right in your own reading there. What do you got to take action about? We'll find out. All right. Let's get an energy. Let's get another card. Energy for you. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. So Aquarius comes, well, a couple months before Aries. But, uh, or you could have someone around you that's a, um, Aquarius. So show the world the real you. And it's time to take action to show the world the real you. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. So you could have a Taurus around you too. This is so funny because my nephew is Aries. His mom, my sister is Aquarius. And uh, my sister's husband is a Taurus. So this is just crazy. <laughs> Your dreams need a practical plan moving forward. So taking action, but make sure you have a practical plan here to show the world the real you, whatever it is here. So I feel like some kind of project, endeavor, a business um, here. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on for you. Aries. What's going on with you, Aries? All right. Why is this energy here for you, Aries? Show the world the real you. Prince of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy doesn't have to be. So this is the Knight of Cups. So taking action here in a very loving, compassionate manner. Hmm. So having a practical plan, but moving forward and taking action, but showing the world really in a very loving, compassionate energy. That's a nice energy to be in, Aries. Or you need to be in that energy. Okay, or it could be a water sign around you too. All right, so let's see. The Emperor. So again, the Emperor is you, is Aries. So this is being a boss, being a CEO, being your own, um, being your own boss, entrepreneurship energy, owning your own business, taking action, moving forward into something you truly, truly love. And it could be owning your own business, entrepreneurship, being your own ruler, Taking charge, taking the lead, taking action. 
showing the world a real you, something you're very passionate about. All right, let's get a couple more here for you, Aries. Could be Emperor or Empress, doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so let's get a couple more to clarify this. So the Prince of Swords, and now we have the Knight of Swords. So this this um, knight, though, a lot of male energy here. And I had got this message. Um, and I didn't want to say it before I started pulling the tarot. Some of you may be thinking about coming out of the closet. I'm getting a lot of like same-sex energy here. I don't know where that's coming from. But if you are, just know I think everything will be fine. You may be worried about that. But that just may be a, a message for some. All right, so now we have the Prince of Swords. So this is uh, taking action again. But sometimes this knight is reckless. He's a rebel. He rushes ahead too quickly without thinking first. So don't rush ahead here without having a practical plan is what this energy is telling me here. So you may be rushing ahead without making sure all your plans are in order. Okay, so that's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So there's that Gemini energy. All right, you may have Gemini in your chart. Could be your moon sign or something like that. Or just be one of your planets, like Mercury. Well, Gemini is Mercury, Saturn or something like that. All right, so let's see another one here. The Hermit. So yeah, this is like two um, opposing energies here. The Knight of Sword rushes ahead very, very quickly. Uh, sometimes he's not practical. But the Hermit here takes time. He goes off on his own. He does introspective work, does soul-searching work, uh, finds his way, finds his light. So, yeah, you got two opposing energies here. So, And then the Prince of Cups, which is like the energy that meets in the middle. So whatever you're going for here, again, like if it's whatever dream, just watch your energy, balance out your energies, take some time to think and reflect before you rush ahead. Make sure you're being in a loving, compassionate place as you move forward, whatever you're doing here. Oh boy, okay, so I'm not getting a bad energy. I, I feel you're very excited to move forward. It's like you, you just want to do it already. It's like... It's, it's your soul, it's your mission, it's like, it's just like you're very in a loving, compassionate energy also. It's like you just love what you're going to do here. But be careful with the Hermit energy there. Just, you know, really think about things thoroughly, thinking things through. All right, let's get some here for your situation. So we got the Six of Cups. So yeah, like I said... Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could be something that you've wanted to do since childhood. Six of Cups talks about childhood, things of the past, memories, nostalgia. So you see a man back here looking down on the children. So you may be thinking, you know, I've wanted to do this since I was a child. It's been my dream, my mission. I feel it's my life purpose. So now, Earth energy here, taking that leap of faith into a whole new cycle. The world is about completing cycles and starting new cycles, a whole new world here. You may you maybe even be traveling, traveling the world or um, just something, you know, traveling overseas for some reason or the world, but starting a new chapter of life here, a whole new cycle. And here's the Ace of Swords, divinely guided for you. Divine, showing you, showing you the way, showing you the light. Brand new beginning based on truth, Clarity, you're, you're really, I feel you're very clear what you're doing here, moving forward. Um, as much as you're so excited and want to like just do it already, I, I feel you either need to be or you are being very practical, making sure you have practical plans here and, you know, pausing, thinking, reflecting before rushing ahead because you don't want to mess this up. You don't want to mess this up. So... Stay in that energy of truth and clarity here. Divinely guide a brand new beginning. All right, so let's get a couple more for this situation. The devil, yeah, toxic energy. Doesn't have to be like toxic, but it could be, um, it can be ego, it can be uh, fear, uh, that kind of energy also. 
So this excited energy may get the best of you and you may like fall into, you know, the devil can be temptation, fall into that temptation of leaping in before you're ready. All right, so let's get one more. Let's get one more. Temperance. Yeah, balancing out your energy. And I had said that at the beginning. So here's the temperance energy, the angel here, temperance angel telling you, keep your energies balanced. Be patient. Be patient. This is divinely guided for you. Temperance angel brings to you what's divinely guided to you. All right, so let's get some advice. Let's get some advice. You got the devil over here with that temptation and the temperance angel over here, like one on each shoulder. Like one's like, no, go for it. And the other one's like, no, wait. You know, you need to go in hermit mode and have patience and balance. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's get your advice. The tower, that's your energy, Aries. Hmm. All right, let's get one more. And the Queen of Wands. So there's that fiery, passionate energy. That's your energy. Male, female, doesn't matter. Leo, Sag, Aries. And there, here you are again with the Tower, Aries. You're very passionate, fiery about this. That Queen of Wands energy. You know, keep that fiery, passionate energy. But your advice is be careful not to rush in, jump in, to be tempted because things may blow up <laughs> here. Um, if you leap in before you're ready, may not go as planned. So let's get a couple more. Let's get a couple more for you. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. So there's your brand new beginning. We got two Aces here, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands. This is a divinely guided new beginning for you. It's a new project, endeavor, something creative, um, letting you, you know, being your true self. You know, it is telling you it's time to take action, but it's practical approach action, not reckless action. But this is a divinely guided new beginning for you. Very passionate about it. Creative idea, adventure, uh, endeavor, project, new job, uh, working for yourself, entrepreneurship energy. All right, let's get one more. I don't feel comfortable taking that. All right. One more. All right. Yeah, there we go. King of Pentacles. So, yeah. So now you have Earth energy here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So there's that Taurus energy over here of being practical. So make sure you're stable, you're grounded, you're balanced, you're practical. Um, you will come, you will have this abundance as the king, growth, expansion, abundance, making your coins but being very stable, practical, slow approach, not this reckless, tempted, reckless energy over here that may backfire here. As much as you're passionate about this, starting this. All right, so let's get your possible outcome, Aries. Let's get your possible outcome. The Princess of Cups. So this is um, Page of Cups. So this can talk of um, sincere offer or apologies or something like that. Um, and I'll just get a couple more so we can clarify why that's here. I don't know if this is apologies, if this is just a very sincere offer coming in, communication, loving, compassionate energy messages let's see why is that here seven of pentacles energy and the hangman so so this is your possible outcome we have the seven of, seven of pentacles you know investing in this investing in this and waiting waiting be being patient as with the temperance energy over there for this to harvest to grow to bloom um you know, things don't seem like they're moving forward. They're kind of being still or stuck right now with the hangman, gaining perspective, taking a break, just hanging back, or nothing's moving right now. Because you have nothing moving here and you have just like patiently waiting here. But you have this loving um, communication in the middle. 
So if you're waiting for an offer or something coming in, here is, you know, communication coming in. And it's good communication because it's cup energy. So it's loving, compassionate, uh, sincere energy. So I feel like if you're waiting for an offer, it will come in and it will be sincere. They may apologize for, you know, it's, I'm so, sorry it's taken, you know, so long and my throat's getting all blocked up. So, you know, they may apologize for um, the delay in this offer or this communication that you've been waiting for. But I do see it coming in. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Ten of Swords. So this is a painful, hurtful ending. So, you know, you may have gone through a hurtful ending in the past uh, before this, and that's why you're taking action in a new direction. Now, wow, so you have three aces now, the Ace of Pentacles. So after an ending always becomes, always comes a new beginning. So divinely guided beginning here for you again with growth, prosperity, a stable new beginning for the future, growth, abundance on a firm foundation. And there's that offer again. So a very sincere offer coming in, being handed to you. The Hierophant. So I do feel it will be sincere. Be moral, just, and right. You can trust this. Um, committed. You're committed to this, what you're doing here. This is like a committed card um, kind of energy, structure, values. It could also be spirituality, faith, and that kind of energy. Seeking wise counsel if needed. Four of Cups, yeah, I feel like you're waiting. You're waiting for this to come in. And then finally, here they come with the cup, <laughs> with that offer. It's floating back here, and you're just kind of waiting. Maybe there's something news you're waiting on or something that will aid or help you in this, what you're doing moving forward. Queen of Cups now. So we have a lot of cup energy here. So we have the Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups, now the Queen of Cups. So there could be a water sign around you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or again, this is your energy, just being in that loving, compassionate, sincere, um, nurturing kind of energy. Being totally in tune, in touch, and just loving life, loving yourself, loving what you're doing, moving forward. You know, working, mastering your craft, working together with others. That's right. Working together with others being totally in love and in line with your purpose, who you are. Waiting on something, no, but it will be sincere, I feel. You can commit to this because you have the stable beginning here and whatever ending you went through is leading to this proper, prosperous new beginning here. Ooh, okay. And whatever you're doing here, I think it, you're showing the world the real you, whatever. Maybe it may be a surprise to some people, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to get some extra messages here, um, Aries, with this deck here. I do ask Aries if you like my style and how I read. If you're new, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, you'll get four readings a month. I do a tarot forecast. I do a love connection. I do singles who's coming towards you, and I do messages from spirit. So if you're interested in, in that, please do subscribe. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. If you do, thank you so much. And you can check the description box below on how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff down there. And thank you to all who has supported the channel in any way. Thank you. Couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so much for all the support. Okay. So with all that being said, let's get some extra messages for you, Aries. Pride. So I think you're very proud of what you're doing here. 1910, again, with the ending and a new beginning. So be proud of what you've been through, what you've learned what you're accomplishing in this new beginning that you're starting for yourself. And don't let pride get in the way. Don't get in that ego energy either, but yet be proud of yourself. That's what I'm getting with that. Okay, so let's... Happy ending. Happy ending just popped out. We have 93, which is 12, which is 3. It's about people coming together, rejoicing, celebrating, teamwork, collaboration into a happy ending here. So there will be a happy ending here. Just need to be patient. Balance out your energies. 
be practical. Okay, so let's get one more. Follow your dreams, exactly. Taking action to following your dreams. 85 here, which is 13, which is four. So it's about stability, foundation, and basis here. So all coming in for you. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Creativity. So again, three with teamwork, collaboration, people coming together, working together. So this could be a very creative endeavor because you do have the Ace of Wands there. I think it's your own unique idea. Twist on something, whatever it is for you. It's very creative. It's something that is very unique to you in your career, what you're doing here. So, wow. So I see all good things coming for you, Aries. Wow. Okay, Aries, best of luck to you. I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.